going. Team Vitality starting out on that CT side. Obviously, Team Spirit picking this one up. Or, or picking this uh, map up, I should say, in, in the veto. But Kyojin will be wielding that kit. Vitality. Got quite a lot of utility, SDY. He's just trying to put some pop shots down mid with that Glock. And actually, he gets a pretty good shot onto Kyojin there. A little bit of damage done. Makes it a little bit of a, of a softer target for those Glocks, maybe. But you're going to need a lot more than that to try and get a, uh, an opening into this pistol round, George. Yeah, you are going to need a lot to get an opening into this pistol. Uh, just from the T side already with how they're starting to kind of set themselves up. It is a bit of a spread. You've already got two players down in towards lower B tunnels who are now looking to try and make some emergence through middle. You can see that Shock's kind of had an inclination of this. He was initially looking to try and get a little bit aggressive through middle, but since then, has backed away and is now going to be in for the firing range at short. Unfortunately, only able to knock for just one and call Zywin into question, but Mir is more than able to handle both of those two frags. Head is on a swivel and he's found two out of it. That's a four versus three now for Team Spirit. And this might be the opportunity they're looking for. So now, throw a little bit of a spanner in the works. A bit of indecision maybe creeping into the minds of Vitality as they can't quite decide where Team Spirit are going to go. And they have to spread their resources thin. It's 1-1-1. One, one, one. one in B, one in mid, one in A. And now that A, Apex, is going to have to go strong. Unfortunately, just as weak as the rest of his teammates in this round, Sundar Young easily cleaned up the frag for the bomb plant. Nice shots coming through. And I think for Vitality, they might just let this one slide. You've got that kit for Kyojin. You've got Masutra on a on a set of armor. But actually, they want to look into this one. They feel like they've actually got a chance at this one. The kit obviously gives them that extra five seconds to play with. Is that going to be enough time, though? Because look at the positions the Team Spirit had. Well, Sundai Young, he had a good position. That's before Kyojin ripped off his head. But Chopper is going to put them both to bed. Nice double for him there to close it down from Goose. And, I mean, Vitality gave it a go, but not really much to play for in that one in the 4 on 2. I did give it a nice little go. Unfortunately, the problem is the same that it often always is. As soon as you lose that man advantage in a pistol round, it can be often very difficult to recover it. And uh, I think that was more of what we saw there. This time around, though, I, uh, I still don't know, Dan. We've been casting a lot lately, and I am still undecided as to whether I'm actually really a fan of the old uh the old or the well the old not the old orb, the old scouts and deagle by sorry in the second round of the ct side after you lose the pistol i'm not always too sure about it because you just kind of bankrupt yourself and this buy coming in from team spirit is so potent at the moment you can see they've got galils they've got ak's they've even got a scout of their own on dexter who we know can be extremely prolific with a scoped weapon so what's stopping them from raking in the frags here? Well, first pop is going to be Zywu. He's stopping them from raking in the frags. It's Apex to first fall. Also, some Dai Young turned traitor in the early parts of that. And Dexter down as low as 12 HP with some Dai Young down as low as one. This has gone from a really winnable situation for Team Spirit, almost a lock-in, to now kind of proving me wrong where I stand. Maybe the force buy is a good idea. Well, I mean, obviously a team kill helps. Obviously, a B site being completely open is going to help Team Spirit as well. They'll be able to walk in, no questions asked by this Vitality side, as they'll see the uh, fire starting to spread over at that fortress that is the B bomb site. And now they're going to have to try and make themselves work in a four on three retake. Obviously, limited weaponry for a few of these players still. They've got those Deagles to scout, but the HP is just so advantageous for Vitality. They're going to mop this one up. It's only Mir left, and he can only manage one onto Masuta. There's just too many bodies hurling in towards that B site, and it is done for Vitality. They tie it up early, and George, you do have to eat your words a little bit. I do indeed. Still, I've got to say, still not a fan on the whole. Um, but uh, <laughs> but even still, you know what? We'll take it. We'll work with it. Vitality getting right back in there, rolling up their sleeves, doing the dirty work early on and making sure they're not going to get themselves going down without a fight. Now it's their turn, Dan. Keeping so many players alive inside of that round for Vitality has enabled them to have a very, very strong clap back here. You can see, of course, the two saved AKs partnering up now with the M4 and the Scout. Works really nicely. And to complement that, to finish it off like the... Uh, Perfect cherry on the top of the beautiful little tart. Masuta has got the MP9. He's ready to farm up some heads. Unarmored opponents on the other side of things from Team Spirit. They're going to take the conservative approach. So they're going to try and go ham and eggs into this eight site. 
moment. There's no brakes on this train. It has got one, but I fear that Apex is going to be just a little well situated to do something about it. But Dexter with a PC50 has actually managed to find himself two frags atop this A site. That's enabled a bomb plan, and that's already a huge result for Team Spirit inside of this round. Three kills, bump planted. This is huge for Team Spirit. This is a lot of damage being done. Almost a fourth kill as well for Mir in the site. Trying to recover whatever weapon would have given them the best advantage there. The P250 not quite up to task. But yeah, I mean, three kills. That is banging. I don't want to bump plant. That is really good money heading into this next round. Dexter, can he get the orb up? Looks like Mir's going to drop one over to him. And they are going to have a very, very nice buy coming through. Team Vitality, on the other hand, is going to have to put a bit of investment extra into this one. They'll get Zaiwu with that AWP. So we're going to be seeing this Dexter Zaiwu duel already. Fourth round. And maybe we'll see one of them getting out on top. Right now, Dexter's just going to be holding towards those mid doors. Zaiwu is going to take place over at short. Didn't have to wait long, Dan, did we, before this one got really started? So we're right in fourth round AWP, as you mentioned. Same true for Team Spirit's Dexter. And this was the thing that we highlighted initially. These two are, without question, the standout players, both of them, the Orc wielders, and Zaiwu, the first to draw the first blood. Takes down Mir as just a slither, a fraction of his head is showing over the top of the short rail, and even finds that rather quickly. So he can now abscond back into the site. Get himself neatly bedded in to defend against this A push that's surely about to come in. Dexter thinks he has an opportunity to find shocks though, and successfully does so. Does pay for it a little bit. So do his teammates with a slight portion of their health. It's a blood pact. But even still, they're still happy enough about that. They've evened it out. Four versus four. Still got 55 seconds to play with inside of this round as well. So plenty of indecision and plenty of doubt can be imbued in the minds of Kyojin especially, who's getting a little bit racy. Wanting to try and push through and might just get caught out. Yeah. Chopper. I'm not sure if he spotted like an arm or something there. But he turned just before Kyojin uh, went for that peak. And a nice advantage for the Team Spirit side as they look to try and push in towards this A site. Taiwu out towards Long could cut them down before they make it to his teammate. And there's the first shot. Magic's eating dirt. Apex will chime in with another one. And now Chopper and Dexter have to try and recover this round. They had the man advantage. And Chopper's alone in the site. His teammate's been caught towards mid. Was trying to catch those rotates, but maybe Chopper can do more. First kill found. Damage onto Zai Wu. Puts him down to 13 HP. Five seconds on the clock. Has to stick this bomb plant and he will. But now he's hemmed into this site. Knows there's a player towards short coming his way. Needs to lit this shot, but Zai Wu's pushing him with every second. Not even going to need Zai Wu. Masuta from short gets it done. Chopper just had nowhere to go. I mean, I'm, I'm a little surprised he even gets the bomb plant out of that. I suppose the bomb plant is a bit of a silver lining, though. Out of all of that, you can see that it yeah. has afforded them a little bit extra money. Of course, that $800 per player when the bomb gets planted is often what can give you a buy and be the difference between it. Unfortunately for Team Spirit here, I don't really think it constitutes going for anything too wild and aggressive. But they are going for a little bit of um, what we like to call a quasi-buy. I call it a quasi-buy, you call it a min-buy. Other people call it a half-buy. It's basically upgraded pistols and armor. It's it's not yeah. a bad... It's, it's you're just giving yourself the best chance of winning this round whilst also setting yourself up for success in the next. So I never really hate it. I'm never too uh, strongly or vehemently against it. Double Orp set of course, recovered as well for Vitality on the flip side of things. That makes it just that little bit more difficult for these short-range pistols, especially in the shape of the Tech-9, to get in up close and personal and get wiggling around inside of Vitality's defense because those orbs are just going to endeavor to try and keep them at as a long range as possible, sorry. So just a little bit of a slight switch up from Vitality, knowing full well that this buy was inevitably going to be coming, made a little bit of an adjustment. Looks like could be on for a B split. A couple of players in towards mid still for the Spirit side. A few stacking up out in the upper tunnels. But that smoke's going to make life a little bit more difficult for the Team Spirit side. This mid push going to come through. Double smokes and shots can't see a thing. That is until they push through it. And Chopper hits the deck. First kill found by that secondary AWP. And Mizuta is here in all these steps. But he can't do much. He's fully blinded. He passes them inside of the smoke. They don't realize. And he's good for two. Still has great position as they try and get in. But Mir's all that he salvaged from the body of shocks. 
is going to do good work. Gets a tag as well onto Kyojin and Team Spirit. They could seriously win this round, George. They've got great positioning. Mir just needs to try and stay alive. Magic's going to try and cover him as best he can. But oh! they line up. And the Tech 9, a quick double. Not going to be enough. Maybe it is. Magic's. A huge round from him is even able to recover the AWP and put Team Spirit back on the board. Magix is out of control, man. What a round from him there with the Tech 9. Just gets himself up close and personal. Knows that Mir is diverting more than enough attention away from the, rem the remaining CT. So he can just slide out. He's a slippery little snake. He just gets in there and has a quick bite. Just chomps away at the legs of, uh, of Team Vitality, who now find themselves... Kind of limping with this buy a little bit here. Two M4s purged into it with an MP9 for Zaiwu. But Masuta and Kyojin are certainly looking a little bit worse for where the young blood inside of this lineup are uh, going to just be sporting the Deagles. And hopefully they've got something to show with it. But that round is, is, I can't stress it enough as well. Despite the fact that Team Spirit are going to be buying in the next round anyway, it enables them now to have an even stronger purchase here than they would have already had for one. And it also gives them plenty more opportunity now to try and smack Vitality back into the Dark Ages. That's really the best case scenario here, Dan. But Dexter and the rest of the gang are going to be playing this one nice and slow on the opening default, just making sure they've got all the time on the table to do as much as they can with as little as they can. No electricity down over in those uh, Dark Ages, George. Might have to take a tech pause if Vitality to get pushed back there. That's true. Maybe uh, you yeah. can get like a paraffin lamp or paraffin to Maybe. power your, your PC. Have one of those. Have one of those people on like the like a hamster wheel run in to generate electricity. That is usually a, a safe bet. Um, maybe you could just like, I don't know, what, what, like a water mill. Maybe you have to move into a new house entirely. Yeah. Maybe. Push coming in towards this A site though. Does go one for one. Kyojin, a nice opening shot with the Deagle, but now those rifles start to just ransack this Vitality lineup. And the A site cleared. Vitality gonna go for the save of those couple um, M4s. It might keep Misuta lurking around a little bit. See if he can find a little bit of damage. Another kill here or there might help them out later down the line. Just anything to force reinvestments really right now. As he just chills over towards short. Reads a book maybe. The Art of War by Sun Tzu, perhaps. Whatever floats your boat. Yeah. Do you want to chill and read a book? I don't have any good recommendations because I'm going to be totally honest with you. I haven't read a book yeah. in a long time. Ah. I don't know about you, Dan. I'm not really a book kind of guy. Ah. As, we, nice well, as we well know, if, you're, if, you're, if you watch any of our broadcasts, you'll know that I'm more of a cinephile rather than a, oh, yeah. a book kind of guy. How many, how many references are you planning on today? I don't know. Uh, we'll see how how quickly it takes to get bedded in to some of these nice little eco rounds where there's like not all that much to talk about. Because I'm yeah. sure I'm, I'm I'm somewhere along the line in a broadcast somewhere. I'm angling for a Scott Pilgrim reference. That's got to be going in somewhere. It's one of my favourite yeah. movies, in fact. So I've got to go for that. I've only ever know. seen it once. Dan, you got to rewatch it. I must do because I can't really remember any quotes or anything from it. All right, I'll uh, I'll I'll waste that one on you potentially or maybe i'll just reserve it, and <laughs> watch it again. but uh magix is not going to be wasting any time whatsoever i'm not sure if it's a mistake here but uh i oh, know it's just going to be the eco never mind i wasn't keeping track in my head of the way the finance was right for vitality but thankfully team spirit are oh, you can see already just by the way they're playing this round they are keeping track of the finances they are keeping an eye peeled onto how many players saved in that last round so what they're reasonably going to be up against is a permeable threat some die young here is going to be the point man. There is going to be an M4 following up behind Kyojin with just this USP. So just got to make sure you don't go one by one and you'll get it nice and sorted. But unfortunately for some, uh, for shock, sorry, some die young is ready and waiting. He finds both frags and pretty much with those two frags shuts down the round entirely. Team Spirit will be up to four here, barring an absolute miracle from Apex. And uh, with the B site already under some die young's lock and key. Dexter and the rest of the gang are probably going to get out of here and skedaddle over towards that B site. I tried a little squeak there, George. And it's, it's, it's anticipation's building just as mine is for this game. For what it's going to bring us. Maybe not in this round, because Zaiwu, Apex, just vibing out towards long, you know. The usual stuff. 
How much would you um how much would you try and chase these kills if you're uh, team spirit right now because the economy isn't in a great position maybe you commit one or two players but i think anything more than that and you really are going to be throwing away more than you want to i'm going to be honest with you i wouldn't chase this at all um i'm never really a big fan of chasing frags as it is uh, it doesn't seem like zyro is either because he's going to donate it instead of letting him chase for it either way the key part of that round is that apex holds on to the m4 now, whilst he might have been able to get a buy in this round, irrespective of whether he held onto that weapon or not, it is now going to enable them to have a little bit more freedom with this purchase. They can get up a few more pieces of utility, which they would have otherwise been skimping out on, maybe even a kit or head armor, which could be useful if they get tagged through a wall or a door, for example. So all of these things, all these fine margins are what it really comes down to at this level of play. Already, it's going to be a faster paced round here from Team Spirit just over the course of the last few rounds with it being slower and then basically trying to condition Vitality into expecting slow defaults. They've brought something out a little bit more racy and unfortunately it hasn't quite worked out. Zaiwu and Kyojin both finding opening frags. Some die young, unfortunately the beneficiary of a couple of bullets to the head there over at Long. Unfortunately for Vitality, what they have elected to ignore over at Short might be something that can be exploited by Spirit as Mir has already deviously snuck his way on out. But again, the same is true over at the back side of things for Shock. So it's a game of flanks, a game of lack of information, I suppose. So who's going to blink first, Dan? It seems like it might well be Mir. Well, he's gotten so deep into this A site and they have no idea, Vitality. If Zywu peeks from that corner, he's dead. If Apex swings, he's dead. I mean, Apex is dead either way. Just a very oh. nice clear from Mir. And he's good for two. Zywu not able to reciprocate quick enough. And that's the bomb going to get planted. Three on two. Great turnaround from the Team Spirit side as they had that initial deficit. They've now got Kyojin in shocks to over towards long. I think they're just going to bail out of this one. Salvage AKs instead of those M4s and just haul ass, I think. Get out of there. Concede a fifth. Don't hate it either. Saving again no. is going to be enough to try and stimulate vitality moving forward. I mean, they are now starting to accrue that loss bonus just a little bit as well. So keep your uh, your mind pressed towards that for just a moment. That loss bonus is inevitably going to be important moving on. There is going to be a timeout call here, I believe, of the tactical variety. That seems to be more what they're angling for. Oh, oh. Nice shot from Dexter. Doesn't get the kill, but so much damage onto Apex. He's such a soft target. Not much he can really do if you're him anymore. And already Masuta has been taken down towards Long. Just a nice aggressive push from teams for its side. Secures that position. And now Vitality going to shift all their manpower in towards this A site. We could be in for an absolute massacre one way or another. Or maybe both ways. Could be a... Just who, who survives longest, perhaps. If it all comes down on this A site. They've still got Chopper lurking towards T or, or towards T spawn here. Just making sure there's no aggression from Vitality, which could be a, an actual real factor in a round like this when you've got that limited weaponry on the Vitality side. But here comes the actual push now. Two smokes going down. Shock's deployed one as well to try and give them a bit of space to work with so they don't get that headshot angle. But it works out. Not at all for the Vitality side. It's clean kills from Team Spirit. Five versus one as Apex, that early tagged up player, just sits with the scouts, hoping that maybe a player gives himself up. If you could find the shot onto Dexter here, that'd be nice. Gets the tag. Trying to finish it off, but Dexter's being very overzealous for that shot. Does call in the cavalry, and Mir comes swooping in like Spider-Man. They were finished off that final frag. Like Spider-Man, yeah? That's what you want to go with? Yeah. What, what else? Sure. Maybe, what? What would what else would he go for? Maybe well, like, like who swoops in Iron and Man? saves the day? Spider Man. I suppose you're right. He catches <laughs> thieves just like flies. Look out! Here comes the Spider Man. I mean, that's that's the '60s cartoon theme song there. Again, there we go. More references that nobody's going to understand. That's that's the kind of stuff that we live for. Either way, once again, this round is going to be cracked on open by Dexter finding a little bit of a leg through the mid doors. 
and further damage inflicted onto shocks this time around means that this round is already a little bit too uncomfortable for vitality. Team Spirit on the T side here, tempering aggression with patience, and it seems to be working out very nicely. Early round aggression with a couple of a quick plays up towards the mid doors or out of long, for example, and then pumping the brake a fair amount until you can kind of dredge one of these advantages away. I don't think Apex will have to expunge the smoke here. I think he's going to be just fine in the corner. So for the rest of Team Spirit, what's the play? Looks to me like you're angling for a bit of a cat short A kind of deal. Apex is getting all the information here and you're stomping around in mid as well, Dan. So where do you go from here? Preferably into one of the sides, I think. I'm, I'm, I'm imagining that's what they're aiming for that would on, be a, on a very basic level, yeah? That would be pretty good. Call me a tactician or, or whatever you like. It looks like they are going to head towards B. And Somebody send wrong. this man a contract quick. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. They've actually bamboozled me a little bit, not heading towards B at all. They make a very late change of heart. And with 20 seconds on the clock, the utility starts to come on in towards this A site. It's like the price is right. Come on down. However, Zai Wu is hoping to beat them to that prize. Only one found so far. Needs more, but can't do it. Left alone into the site. His teammates just couldn't put up anything. Team Spirit looking super sick so far in this T half. Now the left very, with... very sick. Very sick, Dan. Very sick. Just a bit like you, actually, at the moment. Yeah. I mean, I did mute, so I don't think stream heard me, but, you know. Let's get the sympathy votes in early, you know? Yeah. Dan is sick, guys. I am sick. <laughs> I'm also ill. <laughs> <laughs> You're <laughs> sick, bro. A bit like Zylu. He's sick, but, yeah. like, not in the ill sense. He's just really good yeah. at Counter-Strike. I think some would say cracked. Yeah, that's a bit of a, a, a different first-person shooter expression that I won't mention because I yeah. hate it dearly. Uh -huh. um, twisted. I like the expression twisted. I don't know about you. That's my favorite to go to. I, you, know, you know what I think we should be bringing back, George? I think we should bring back Gnarly. Gnarly? Really? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Hold on. Let me just move to California and grow my hair real quick. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna do my best to bring Nali back. Um, yeah, all right. I want you there by my side. Yeah, you want me to chop some sick waves with you, bro? Yeah, surfs up. Yeah, surfs up again. That movie with the penguins. Wonderful. Yeah. Penguins unfortunately don't naturally inhabit maps like dust too. No. Maybe like sub zero. Although, though there's the sand. I think it's more of a dusty sand. Yeah. Well, I'm afraid it might be looking more like uh, the end of Endgame here when Vitality get done with this round because they might be very quickly turned to dust as well. Team Spirit are infinity gauntleting their way into this site very quickly and very easily cleaning up with just only one mega casualty onto Magics. So I think all things considered, you've got to be pretty happy with the outcome of that round for Team Spirit. You've got yourself now a five round lead and you've got Team Vitality well and truly on the back foot. Not only, of course, in the round count, but financially as well. You're playing with them here. The CT side is really yet to get rolling. They haven't had a chance to get into the meat and potatoes of their buys. They've just been stuck on the constant eco all the time. Well, they have a chance now. Double orbs once again. Zaiwu not having that sort of amazing impact we sort of talked about in the pre-game he's, he's been he's six and nine it's respectable early game here with his team down eight and three but he's not inspiring perhaps you could say i think that is testament though to how good he yeah. really is is that we get annoyed yeah. or like we're, we're upset to see that he's <laughs> dot got like 60 frags by round six you know this guy really is Ooh an anathema he's just a pure pure enigma and this round is going to be a little bit of a head scratcher for team spirit as they go from winning so convincingly to now getting wiped off the scoreboard five players down for absolutely no rebuttal fourth on the scoreboard for vitality more of that please really more where that came from Yeah, I mean, Zai, we were having a little bit of, a, of an aggressive stance towards short, though, with that AWP. It was a nice little change. 
he's been playing pretty sort of laid back in towards that A site for the most part. Sometimes out towards long, sometimes in the side itself. It was nice to see him a little bit um, more frontal towards this short position. And now with Masuta, they're once again going for oh, this yeah. time, I think for the boost to look in towards tunnel. Oh, yeah. And there is magics there. They actually go for the reverse boost, Team Spirit, and they force him off the anger with the AK of Mir. Doesn't quite do as much damage as I thought that was gonna do, actually. No, I think clipping them through the boxes little down the HP that it could have brought. Oh. Dexter had a chance there. Zaiwu fully blinded, but he just oversteps a little bit, has to re-peek into the angle, and Zaiwu is able to reply by that time. As now there's so much just hurling in towards shots over the B side. He's calling for support. They know he's in that corner because of the smoke he deployed, but they can't do anything about it. They know trying to chase in for that frag is probably going to result in their demise with now Masuta there to assist. So they back away smartly. They've still got the bomb out towards long as well in the back of Chopper. So they've got options. They've got options. They could maybe have a little bit of a regress into the what's B site, maybe through mid, maybe a little bit of pressure towards shore. And that looks like the option they're going for. Indeed it does. Get a little option here though. Unfortunately, Team Spirit might be at a little bit of a disadvantage when they realize there are three very angry CTs hiding around the corner. One of which is, of course, Cywin. The first half of the core. Oh, goodness me! It's a team kill. Sunday Young manages to get Apex through it. In the end, it's magics to clear things up. That could have gone very south very, very quickly. Thankfully for Team Spirit, it all, it all sorts itself out in the end. That was very, very scary for a minute. Still might not be done yet. Shocks and Masuta are making Ooh, their way up short. Flashbang just dodged perfectly, expertly by some Dai Young. And now Shocks, after having one bite of the cherry, decides that it doesn't taste very nice and he wants to walk away. The cherries firm ferment? Like, I have like no grapes. idea about cherry decomposition, Dan. I don't know why you thought that I would know, but you know what? You seem to know a lot, George. Maybe I just expect too much of you now. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe you do. I, I, I don't think I know that much. Uh, I think Shox knows more than me. You seem to know where, where that final player of Team Spirit was. He does get one on the save, at least. So a little bit more damage done. But was, was it SDY, some Dai Young, who got that team kill again? Yes, again. I think yeah. that's the second one of the game, actually. Now, yeah, I think I think it was second round against the fourth by he team killed. I'm not sure. Maybe you're right. Mm. Anyway, but uh, you this time at least. Oh. Holy Lines. smokes! Yeah. Smokes don't bother Dexter apparently. Either the flashbangs. Neither does the flashbangs. <laughs> yeah. Nice opening shot, and that is a little bit heartbreaking for Vitality here because you, you've invested everything into this round yet again. One more round to play with after this, this um, before the end of the half, and Dexter is just all over the map. Masuta tastes the pain, tastes the lead, and they are just getting caught one by one, each of them trying to make plays, but the team spirit are just so ready for everything they try. Aggression up shore, aggression on upper tunnels, a uh, flashbang or, or a bit of utility trying to get deployed in towards mid. They're all just dead. Into the afterlife they go. One way trip, maybe. But... Just one way. Just, just off. Yeah. Not Until like we get to the next round, of next course. Round. Yeah, yeah. It's clearly very much a two way <laughs> trip. I feel bad for shocks, though. This isn't the first time that he's been asked to save his AWP. And this time, though, unlike the last, he is going to be hunted. He's going to be hounded, as a matter of fact. And whilst we just get the no-scope, it is inconsequential at best. They strip him of that AWP. They strip Vitality of the opportunity to save for the final round of the half. So they're going to be coming in with uh, basically like scraps. They're going to be coming in with torn clothes, raggedy boats, and they're all going uh, all over the shop with it. They managed to get the AWP on Zyru, but I fear that's going to be class cannon. It well will be. And Kyojin and the rest of the gang are going to be picking up Famasses to complement the French team with the French gun. Do love a bit of background weaponry knowledge. This is why Let's I see you know things, George. Because you James Bardolf, I saw. Yeah, of course. Bit. Nice opening shot, though, from Zaiwu. Picks off one as they tried to go aggressive towards shortly. Do get that control they crave, Team Spirit, but 
it does come at that cost of Mir, who's been having a pretty solid game. 12 kills, 8 deaths, you know, he's he's having a pretty nice time. Magix is up there as well. Not someone we really said much about in the pre-game, but has been having a pretty solid tournament. Nothing spectacular for the most part, but he's had is some very nice moments. Indeed, he has. He has a few good ones. I mean, just one that springs to mind is when Sundar Young managed to kill his teammate and collateral into Apex over on the A site. Managing to pick up the remainder of that round in a pretty difficult circumstance was very, very strong from Magix. So I like the fact that we're not just seeing the Dex to show here from Team Spirit. Whereas on Vitality, Zywu isn't exactly having a spellbinder. And where's the rest of the team? You know, where where are they currently? Yeah. Kyojin currently at seven frags, Masuta at nine. But even still, when Zywu's only pulling 10 and uh, averaging out on that 1.0 KD, now he finds that frag. It makes it a little bit more difficult, seemingly, for Vitality to operate as intended. And their functionality is failing as they manage to get taken down on top of the A site. But thankfully, Apex is in for a swift double. And Shox finishes the job to seal a 5-10 at the halftime. And you can find out who's going to take this map on Dust2 after this quick break. Don't go anywhere. Magics, but no defuse kit. So it'll have to be the full 10 seconds if it does get that far. That's just something to bear in mind, perhaps. Vitality. Already utility heading on in towards the B side. Looks like where they want to do something pretty quick here. This Molotov towards SDY is going to start burning him. But actually, they back off. That smoke in response from Team Spirit, that just sends them thwarted towards the other side of the map. And now Mir's going to try and pick them off in mid. Nice first kill goes his way, doing damage as well onto Masuta. And that's the bomb. They need to get Masuta out of there. He's going to try tucking the bomb up. I think Shox does collect it. So Christ is averted as he does now get taken down. But it's only a two on five for Vitality. As this first map could be put into the books by Team Spirit rather quickly if things continue the way they did in this first half. And Shox... He can't do anything. No kills found by the Vitality side there, George. And a nice uh, sort of confidence round from Team Spirit, just as you extend out the advantage a little bit more. You know what's even worse, though? Just a bit of a brief pause there. I might get interlude. back into things. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome back for Act 2. <laughs> Might as well now, be six up, uh, six act play soon as well, Dan. We don't know what's going to happen in this best of three yet. Oh yeah, for sure. I mean, obviously this is the team spirit map pick, so you, you'd be expecting them to put up a strong performance on it. Oh, oh hello. That's a nice start from Dexter against the uh, the full spike from Vitality. Just picks them off through the door with a, with a few shots, and now Mir close range, not expected. They're just having a bit of fun towards mid. These pistols just peeking them one by one, you know, getting caught out. Uh, finally, he's Mizuta with one. On to mere close range. He can't even recover that MP9. Already gone as planned here, has it? It's, it's all kind of falling apart here for Vitality. Thankfully, um, they will have a tiny little bit of money remaining. Uh, not everyone has gone all in, balls deep, but of course, Mizuta and Zyra would be the only two who haven't. Also, you know... Suta being the only ones ready to find some frags. So that's going to help his total a little bit. But all in all, despite the outcome of this, Vitality will inevitably be ecoing in the next round. Providing Masuta can't find anything at the back here. Unfortunately, he can't. Chopper is ready and waiting. Gets him sorted, gets him tied on down, and it's 12 for Team Spirit. It's been, I've got to say, Dan, like, obviously, outstanding the CT half, as we haven't really got into the meat and potatoes of that yet. But um, in the first half, Team Spirit... A little rocky to get started, but as soon as they got bedded in and as soon as they felt comfortable here on Dust 2, they were looking really, really strong. I've got to say, I've got to hand it to Team Spirit. This is a uh, day and night, really, from some of the performances we've been seeing out of them so far in the group stage here at VSL Pro League. Yeah, for sure. Obviously, only that winner gave some bad news bears so far, who um, are currently playing against Dents. I don't even know how that's going. I'll have a B stream update for you coming shortly. Oh yeah, it bring us that update as we are just against the pistol. So not much to really discuss here as Mir is having a little bit of fun with an MP9. Every kill obviously is $600. He only actually gets one SDY with another, but the majority of the kills come from Chopper with that M4A4. The, uh, the weapon of choice on that CT side. 
You will not be surprised to find out, by the way, that Ents are at map point against Bad News Bears already at 15-4. Okay, so it's not going too well for them. That's yeah. uh, unfortunate. We may be joining them rather soon in this first map, unless Vitality get themselves underway with this full buy. As I will with the AWP, four AKs, hoping to make their mark and secure a sick at the very least. Oh, the flashbangs are so good. Eat that. Apex is going to have a tough time swallowing that very, very bitter pill. As he just gets blinded to high heaven and then just obliterated, really. Now that's going to give a lot of agency over to Team Spirit with how they want to elect to play this map now. They have all of the A-long position in their remit, which means they can back off rather, you know, passively, play on car, play on the corner, play on the ramp towards the A-site. And they should be at least well-fashioned with one player in the pit to defend against this. You can see that Dexter already getting a little bit antsy, readjusting his positioning, just waiting for players' heads to start to rear around this corner. But Vitality seem a little bit hesitant so far. They want to try and get a pick before they move in here. They've managed to get the flashbangs out. They've managed to bait the shot from the AWP. But so far, nothing really coming of it for both sides. Chopper just has to dip down, get away, and wait for Dexter to bail him out, which he does. Beautiful shots to open things up, and Dexter isn't done with content with just one. He gets two, and now leaves it all up to Zywu and Shot to try and clutch in a two versus five. It seems unlikely to say it like that, especially now that Zywu is down so low with a Molotov at his feet. He gets one, but then, Kukli style, it is someday, some die young, sorry, to take him down for the 14th for Team Spirit. It's just well fashioned, Dan. It's well put together, it's well thought out, and Team Spirit are running away with it. I mean, I don't know what else to add to that. Dexter Bryden, great coverage for his teammate Chopper in the side of that site. You highlighted it so beautifully in the mid round there, but gets those two kills and that just completely derails the the, the sort of round for Vitality because you still got that player close range. You've not been able to establish any control in the site. And for Vitality, the bomb plan at least is a little bit of a consolation. $800 extra per player. And they invest that into the AKs, the utility, as they try and fight back as aggression towards Long. It works out initially for a kill from Masuda, but Magix is there instantly with the refrag, and he's got himself in towards the pit as well, hoping to stall this advance. But Kyoji will rip his head, clean off the shoulders. And Vitality have that man advantage. They have long control. Next up. Wanted to go for the timing shot there, but the flashback was just too strong and Apex. Follows it up beautifully. Team Spirit already having to be forced into the uh, save for this next round. Finally a sign of life, I suppose. <laughs> I'm sure that the Vitality is still playing there. They have uh, gone pretty nicely into the night on this one. And they have also done a very nice job at just siphoning off a few of those weapons away from Team Spirit. I don't really think Vitality are going to be in a position here to hunt this one down if they were to. They would definitely be compromising themselves quite considerably. So for Vitality, a good round win, a needed round win. Things could and probably will get very quickly out of control for them if they're not careful. But getting a sixth on the board right about now, stopping Team Spirits in their momentum, because they're only just two rounds away from winning the game, of course. One round away from that elusive map point and making life just that bit more difficult for Vitality. You need to uh, really find another gear here. Currently, they've kind of been stalling out a bit, Dan. They've just been taking their feet off the clutch a little bit too quickly. And as a result, they've just kind of been... Um, how, what's the word? I suppose I like kangaroo stepping. You know when you kind of like nearly stall a car and you kind of like kangarooing along, you're bouncing along a little bit? Yeah. That's what it feels like for Vitality right now. They're just... A little bit stale, a little bit stagnant, needing to do something new. Yeah. You know, maybe maybe a few more rounds on the cards. I think with Team Spirit needing only a couple to close this first map out, it's almost an inevitability that it does go their way, but Masuta already opens things up into this next round. A minute 30 still on the clock. And a man advantage once again with just aggression out towards a long, no refrag this time from the CIS team. They're actually just going to fall away as well from that A-site, feeling that they can't provide the coverage it needs. They're going to fall back in towards CT, and Vitality will have free reign over that site now. And the bomb will get planted, and Team Spray once again looking like they're just going to save 4v5. They don't fancy their chances. I mean, if they save these weapons, they'll keep their economy 
in a good position. Apex is already on the hunt, though. He's up towards T-spawn, and even though he's not necessarily too close to where these players are saving, he's getting lots of intel. He might be able to relay that to his teammates, and maybe they can hunt down a couple of these players. But I feel like four players in this B-site, going to be tough to try and force them out. It's a little bit. And uh, I like this as well from, from Team Spirit, actually. Whilst many of you might think that this is a bit of like a, you know, overly conservative move to just try and save here, I actually really like it. They know that they've got, uh, well, they will have at the very least, a seven-round buffer to play with. And they want to make sure that for as many of those seven-round buffers that they have weapons to play with. If, if they don't save these four weapons here, the odds are they likely as not don't get a very good buy moving into this round and therefore don't give themselves a very good fighting chance at taking the 15th that they so lucratively desire. For the time being, of course, Vitality. Still stuck. Still trying to get the ball moving. Just a slightly missed shot from Zywoo, but I feel like with the way he's getting very close to those, it won't be long until we see him hit one. Dexter may be even looking for a little bit of a sneaky angle here as well. Has Chopper on the corner, so may elect to just pop up on his head. Something a little bit freaky with it. Or they might just choose to not do that and uh, take it chill. But already, I think the uh, the objective here from Team Spirit is to just take a few pieces of territory away from the Ts. You've already heard that they've been making a bit of presence over towards Long, so why not try and make a bit of your uh, own presence felt towards Middle? As the boost does spot the head of Shocks, unfortunately, not going to be able to get the timing to find it. And unfortunately for Dexter and Chopper both, they fall victim to Masuta, who's pressing forward. He is not taking no for an answer this time around. Three kills already on the entry. He's cracked this round open. Mercy as they run on in for an eighth here as Shocks quickly takes down Sunday Young. All left up to Mir. <laughs> Snap of the fingers. This round was over, Dan. Don't even know what happened. I blinked and I missed it. Masuta happened. He just uh, took everything into his own hands. Completely ransacked that A site, and Shox isn't even going to let Mir save either. In the uh, corner towards the upper tunnels, kill comes through, and Team Spirit... Yeah. In, in this, in this uh, second half, at the very least on the CT side, I feel like the AWP Dexter is like win condition. So needed. So needed for Dexter to have a good performance with this particular weapon. I mean, he's been, I don't want to say he's been quiet, but 12 frags with that AWP. It's its ironic, really, isn't it? That both the players that we highlight before we come into this best of three are the two that have been uh, not performing this to their usual standards. But it's, again, we're expecting a lot. Magic's this time for me, who's been lights out here on Dust 2 for Team Spirit. But I'd love to see Dexter getting it on like Donkey Kong. Magic's towards Pit. Man, you just mentioned another kill for him, up to 20. Highest in the server right now. Could be getting a little bit more, but he really needs some support from his teammates, and I don't think he's going to get any. He is a dead man walking. There you go, but Dexter now, trying to help out. A little bit too late, he does get two. With that AWP, but a two on two, still on the cards, and Vitality have Zywoo in the picture, as well as Apex, as they'll smoke the way in towards this site. Zywoo has that bomb. Those nades do decent damage. Could have done maybe a little bit more, but the bomb is safe and secure. And Apex is going to take position as well, out towards short. He's going to have to duel against both these CT players. And actually, it's going to be a full two-on-two, two, perhaps, towards short. Zywoo switching into the AK, knows that close range over at this angle. He needs that weapon that can give him as much chance as possible for the multi-kills, but he goes down oh, instantly, what? and some die young gets himself the double apex, can't trade out. And that's map point for Team Spirit. Can't help but feel like maybe there's just something more that Vitality could have done with that. They had a whole A site to their personage. They could have planted it wide and open, maybe even on top of the box before Team Spirit would have got there and played long instead. I don't, I'm just spitballing ideas. I'm not a professional Counter-Strike player for a very good reason. But uh, even <laughs> despite that, it just seemed a peculiar two versus two to end up throwing away with that bomb plant subsequently down. Team Spirit taking up to their map point, feeling comfortable now. They've even brought the double AWP setup through from that round onwards. So Sundar Young and Dexter both going to be taking up that mantle to try and close things out here on Dust2 and take that 1-0 series lead. This is their map pick, mind you. This is Team Spirit's map pick. They'll be wanting to steal this one away because up next is Mirage. And the last time these two teams played, Vitality did swipe that one away from them. 
spirit will want to be like Dora the Explorer, I suppose, with swipe or no swiping. That one in there, uh, <laughs> that one in their palm of their hand. Try and get a neat little 2 0 at least to validate your Pro League experience. Yeah, and Vitality, this is a dangerous risk to take. Just aggressive in towards this B site through the smokes, through the utility, and it's not panning out whatsoever. Finally, Zaibu gets one, but a free on oh. four. SDY, that was a much needed shot, and he can't connect. That gives. The Vitality side, a lot of space to work with now. They have that B site secured. And despite the initial frags going Team Spirit's way, they have to back away. It's that realization, Dan. I think that you always talk about this, about how the B site on Dust 2 is a bit of a fortress once you get inside yeah. of it. Very, very difficult to retake at the best of times. And in a straight three on three, where you don't really have that much utility to play with either, probably not the best idea to try and go and bash your head into a brick wall with it. So conceding this one here, giving Vitality their ninth. You've, again, still got rounds to play with, and you still will have three weapons carried over into the next round, which should afford you a buy for all five players. <laughs> Team Spirit, by no means, are going to roll over and just let this one go. I'm going to try and stick with it. Six round deficit now. Still going to require a long, old, arduous journey for the French side. And as I was still on that AWP, it's 15 and 17 right now. It's Masuta who's been able to find the uh, the biggest of the numbers for that Team Vitality side. He's got 17 kills. And it's still Magic's top of the table. 20 for him as he leads this Team Spirit side. And they may be able to lock this one down now. SDY does have an MP9. He's going to be playing that up top over the B oh, side. And he perfect. gets himself two. That is the, one of the best places to be wielding that weapon. It does so much damage. And Vitality, last time last time around, they tried to push in towards that B site. They got taken down by two early. But at least they had the backup that pushed in and traded out. This time, there's no such trade. And now they have to reconsider their options. Magics. Not one of them, as he nails down Apex, puts it into an even more arduous position for Vitality. A two versus five, shocks and Zaiwu. Maybe we'll see something special, but I feel like this could be 16 for the Team Spirit side. Nice kill from Shocks. Needs a few more, though. Got to see something really special here. And it is, of course, that tantalizingly able duo of Zaiwu and Shocks. Shocks really the master of the clutch. Zaiwu, well, we know what Zaiwu's about, don't we? He's just incredible. Every twist and turn, this guy might pull a rabbit out of the hat somewhere. This time, though, it's going to need to be a very large rabbit at that. Maybe even two of them. As Zaiwu now punches in the digits on the bomb, Shocks will get himself buried in on the boost spot. Just waiting for somebody from CT to start to come his way. Both players here, though, are going to be looking at this angle, which leaves them overexposed if anyone does choose to come through long, which is exactly what's about to happen very shortly for Chopper. Shocks finds the right angle, finds the first frag, needs to get a second out of it. Dexter with the AWP just nails him down, and Ooh. there is the aforementioned Chopper. Nice adjustment from Zaiwu. Jump shot coming on in, though, and the HG grenade to finish it. Dunking it home for Team Spirit to find 16-9 to in their map pick on Dust2. Thank you.